Hi beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Anava and I make faith related and medical related videos. Welcome to another sit down chatty video with me. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about six things that I love about being a doctor. As you can see, my phone, my notes are in my hand. So when I glance down, I'm trying to look at the notes that I had written. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about six things that I love about being a medical doctor. And if that is something that you're interested in, then please do stick around. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. All right, so for those of you that may not know, I am a medical doctor. I have been practicing for going on four years now. I am currently a PG1 internal medicine. I decided to make a video talking about what I love about being a doctor. I remember I made one a few months ago about uh, medicine isn't for you if dot 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 and fill in the blanks and um that video got a lot of views a lot of people responded to me based off that video and i realized you know in as much as uh the medical sector isn't the most perfect sector in the world and i think a lot of people showcase the negativity that it has i mean the working hours are crazy you know the salary compared to the amount of hours you're working is crazy there are all those factors put into consideration but it's not all bad it's one of the most fulfilling and the most beautiful career paths you could ever choose and that is something i'm going to try and showcase from this video so like i said i have six things that i'm going to be talk that i'm going to be talking about that i love about being a medical doctor um sit down get comfortable get a cup of tea and let's get into this video um as you can see i am very very comfortable i'm on my couch <laughs> So yeah, get comfy and let's get chatting. By the way, if you do think of reasons other than the ones that I'm going to state in this video, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below and um, add on reasons of why it's wonderful to be a doctor. So yeah, the first thing, which is um, kind of the most obvious reason why you'd love to be a doctor, you get to help people intimately at their worst position and uh, this basically means like someone who is sick or who comes to you for help um, of course they can be fairly stable but they've come to you for a reason there is something that is affecting their quality of life and um, it may not be the worst of the worst someone for example who has cancer cannot be compared to someone who has flu but still the quality of life is affected to a certain aspect and those that are severely ill and critically ill they are definitely at the worst position in their life and you coming in and helping them in that moment is one of the most fulfilling things that you could ever do it's something that's very intimate you know your patient intimately you may not know the relationship with your friend you may not know their relationship with their husband you may not know their relationship with their parents but you know the most intimate things about them their health what are they battling with how is their body feeling what diseases are they facing like you know something so intimate about such a person hence uh doctor patient confidentiality but you know something so intimate about a person and you use that for a good to better them and i think that's one of the most beautiful things about medicine because you get so fulfilled in helping people it's one of the best things when you see a patient that is critically ill i've said this before that is critically ill um maybe in bed bedridden and they are uh, maybe unconscious and you intervene as a doctor and you do something and they get to a point where through the progression of days that okay and they actually walk out of the hospital it's one of the best feelings to know that had it not been for you you stepped in and you helped this person we're in the perfect position and you had the perfect opportunity to showcase help to this person so i think that's the number one biggest thing i love about being a doctor the fact that i get to help people when they need me um i get to help them from an intimate place i get to help them when they're going through things when they feel the pain of being scared of death i am there to comfort them and speak to them and counsel them if need be i remember i was in a clinic recently and there's a woman that came in bless her heart she was a little bit older maybe in her 60s or so and she had different ailments she had hypertension um diabetes and then she suffered a stroke and she suffered an mi a myocardial infection which is a heart attack and um you know she suffered all these things but she still bounced back and she's still living um decreased quality of life but still good enough and so like she came in and she sat there and she like had a bunch of questions oh what happens when i do this oh this this i feel this way sometimes when i'm eating like my appetite is affected and she had like so many questions that she had to get off her chest and i remember i was in that room with her for like more than 30 minutes and if i am being honest there's a point when i was like okay 
she has a lot of questions and um, I'm trying to answer them to the best of my ability but I have a queue of 20 plus patients waiting outside and this is kind of like my human mind just going places and at the end of it all she said I just want to tell you that you are the best doctor I have ever seen you are very patient you have answered all my questions I'm living here feeling more fulfilled and just want to pray over you and she said a short prayer over me and she just said continue being a good doctor to your patient it's not about treating and trying to make the symptoms going away but some patients just need someone to explain to them what's happening they just want to be heard and you did that for me today and she prayed for me and she left and like that was such a wonderful encounter and kind of like changed my mentality of just being a listening ear to your patients there are some patients that when you ask them what brought you here today they'll start telling you a story from 20 Zero two <laughs> that led to that moment, and of course, like we make jokes about that in the medical community. If you know, you know, but sometimes that they just need that. Of course, there is a time, for example, if you have another emergency, you have another patient waiting, or you have a huge line, you won't spend one hour, 30 minutes with one patient, you will tell them. Uh, professionally and with a lot of grace that you know you don't have time and you have this this is the reason things have to speed up they'll be understanding but just being a listening ear to your patients and offering them that support to make them under to make them feel like they are heard and they are understood and what they are going through is something that they can endure is very very important so like my encounter with that woman completely changed my understanding of what understanding of what it is to be a good doctor a good doctor is smart can solve a problem can cure the patient but can also have a healthy relationship with their patient the second thing that i love about being a doctor is that medicine is forever interesting and intriguing i feel like um my brain is a very scientific brain i like to analyze and criticize and figure out i have so many questions why this why that why this why that and that part of me gets fulfilled in medicine because it's so interesting and intriguing. When you understand how the human body works, it's one of the best things ever. When you understand that the heart does this because of this, um, the brain does this because of this, like your blood flows like this because of this, like when this happens to your body, it responds in this way. It's so interesting, guys. Like, I think this is now my little internal medicine ner nerd coming out. But I feel like the body is one of the most beautiful things. The way God created it and orchestrated it is so interesting. And it's just beautiful to see it unfold. I don't know. I, I don't think I can put it towards what I'm trying to say. But it's so beautiful to see how the body unfolds and just, like, the way it heals itself. The way, like, you need to assist in this way. Like, it's just so interesting and intriguing. And if you have a brain like mine which gets interested in knowing why things are the way they are, then you would definitely uh, love medicine. Like, at, from a young age, I always wondered why do clouds appear in the sky before I learned about the rain cycle? Um, why do the planets rotate in that way when we learned about um, astronomy? Why do the planets rotate in that way around the sun? What is the gravity that holds them in that place? How do they spin? Like I had so many questions trying to figure out the way everything works on earth in the universe, the human body, and this really fulfilled that inquiry aspect of me because it's so intriguing, it's so fascinating, and it just you just don't stop learning. There's always something new to learn about the human body and that's one of my favorite things that i love about medicine the third thing i love about medicine is that um a medic in a medical career you have job security and what i mean by that is that it is a field that is always on demand now i'm going to speak about this from a global aspect um in view of i know there are certain people who may be watching this uh, maybe you are still waiting to be employed in view of what's happening in zambia i won't touch on that But I'm going to speak about it from a global aspect um, in the sense of doctors are always on demand. There is a shortage of doctors globally. In majority of the countries, there's a shortage of doctors. Ideally, it's supposed to be 1 to 1,200 patients, according to WHO. And this is something that is said time and time again. There is a shortage of doctors everywhere. And so going into the medical field, you are guaranteed that this is a career that is always on demand. People are always sick. People always need you to intervene. People always need you to help them. Um, surgeries need to be performed. People need to go under in anesthesia. You need to figure out how to take the medication according to their blood pressure readings like there's always something that's going to come up the human body is in need of someone um, to help it function and so doctors are definitely on demand and that's something that i love about my career because i have that job security that if anywhere that i go 
um, as long as, of course, I use the right process. I write the exams I need to write. I do the application I need to do. Anyway, that I go, I am guaranteed that I am going to get a job somehow, some way. It may not happen immediately. It may take years even, but I am guaranteed that I will get a job because I am needed. So I like that about being a medical doctor. The fourth thing I love about being a medical doctor is that it makes you become a problem solver and develop critical thinking brain. So what I mean by that is me being in internal medicine, this applies to so many other fields, but in internal medicine, I did speak about it in a previous video that one of the things I loved about internal medicine is that you kind of like, you're putting a puzzle together. So someone comes with this symptom and this symptom and this symptom, and you kind of like have to put the pieces together and figure out what's wrong with them. And I love that as opposed to like other departments where you see something and what you see is what you fix. You know, internal medicine is kind of like, yeah, you're, you're doing this dance with science and you're making a puzzle and putting things together i love that about internal medicine and in relation to that putting the puzzle together um thinking of a solution for your patient um being a critical thinker for example in obs and gynae trying to catch a woman foresee any complication that she's going to have and um, before she goes into labor and trying to catch it in time and take her to theater and deliver her um, cesarean section you have to be a critical thinker and analyzer of her history to know that this is the plan that you have to make in surgery you have to solve a problem if you see someone comes in with an obstructed intestine you have to be able to take that person to theater and solve the problem figure out how you're going to do it and solve that problem um and it's just a field that is very vast but every aspect that you go to you have to be a problem solver people come to doctors because they have a problem they don't come to doctors for the sake of just coming to doctors <laughs> they come to doctors because they have a problem and you have to be the one who's going to solve that problem that they have you have to be a critical thinker you have to analyze the situation and figure out what is the best approach not only from what i have studied not only from what i have experienced but specifically for this individual so yeah that is something that i really really love it keeps my brain fuel pumping i love to think and come up with things in my mind and like i said i have a scientific mind so that's one of my favorite things about being a doctor the fifth thing second last thing that i love about being a medical doctor is that it births honor influence and respect in society and this is something that i is rarely spoken about but something that is commonly known throughout in society being a medical doctor um, is of a certain status in society and people look at you in a certain way and it's very common even in the hospital um people come to the hospital look at you in a certain way because like i said they come to you to be their problem solver. They come with a problem and you solve it. And even just in society, like it births this kind of um, respect and honor that people give to you. And um, I think, of course, there is a negative aspect of that, of where people kind of like glorify doctors. I don't believe in glorifying doctors, but I do appreciate the respect and the honor that the name carries. When people know that you're a doctor, there is something about it, like you carry yourself in a certain way. And that is why they say, as a medical doctor, you dress a certain way, you do certain things. This is not the extremists that kind of like try to put doctors in a box like you have to be like this i do not support that but to a certain extent as a doctor in society you can't do certain things in society because of the name that you carry there are certain things that the professional board um the medical council is going to penalize you for if you do in society if you're a fraud and just stealing money in society you will be penalized by removal of your license as a medical doctor because it's supposed to hold yourself up to a certain standard because that is what society expects from you and i love that about being a doctor I think um, it helps me appreciate my career and appreciate the way I interact with people. I try to not let it get to my head, the honor that it gives me, but I do appreciate it and I feel seen even with the negativity that I spoke about when it comes to the medical field and the things that we have to endure. I feel seen and valued because of the name that being a doctor carries. And then the last thing that I love about being a medical doctor is that you are always learning and you are always having a new experience. You can have two patients present to you and have the same diagnosis, but you will learn something new because they will not present to you in the exact same way. The symptoms will not be the exact same symptoms. They will not have the exact same length. There'll always be something that you will learn with every patient that you encounter as you are moving on. And I love that about medicine. It is never ending. There is no one who can say they've gotten to the end of the road in medicine. They have arrived in knowledge or anything. Medicine is so beautiful because like I said in a previous video, it's a life long 
learning career you do not stop you'll be 70 and if you're still practicing at 70 big ups to you but you'll be 70 and you'll still be reading your books and trying to be up to date with what's happening with the medical community and because of that i really love the fact that um my brain is constantly going to be forced to learn things i'm constantly going to have to go and experience more patients learn new things of course one of the things that we speak about in the medical community and as much as you study your books you have to pair it with experience because there are some things that based off experience you'll be able to recognize nice just like that that someone's eyes who has just been in a textbook will not be able to recognize but in as much as you are having that experience there's always going to be something new that you're going to encounter there's always going to be something new that you're going to have to go back and read about again and again i have seen consultants who come and they've been in the field for like more than 20 years 30 years and they're going to say they're going to come and do something or say something and then they're going to come the following day and say you know what i read an article and then they'll like change the whole course of treatment and it's just so beautiful because it's just a very humbling field as you are ever learning and you are ever growing and you are ever experiencing and you can never ever get to the end of the road when it comes to medicine so yeah guys that is the end of my video those are six things that i love about being a medical doctor if you did enjoy this video then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one like i said comment down below if there's any other things that you can think of and i will see you guys in next week's video which is going to be coming out on sunday love you so much if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel i really do appreciate it when you subscribe to my channel when you like my video because it gives me more exposure to other people all right people thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in the next video Bye.